All right, in this video, we're going to talk about um, a specific example of exponential growth, and that's compound interest. Uh, the balance A uh, in an account with principal P, principal is the initial amount, uh, with an annual interest rate. Every annual uh, interest rate you're going to be given is the annual interest rate. Uh, is given by this equation, uh, and this is going to be in compoundings per year after T years. Um, <clears throat> so why do we have to do the R divided by N? So they're going to give us the annual interest rate. If we want to say the monthly interest rate, we would have to take R and divide by 12. Um, so it's really important that we take that interest rate and actually divide uh, by how many times the interest is going to be compounded per year. What about the N times T uh, in the exponent? Well, if we're going to do something for two years, and we're going to do it every single month, uh, which is 12 pounds per year, for two years, how many times would we do that total? Uh, we would do that 24 times total, and we get that by multiplying how many times we do it per year and the number of years. Uh, so N is how many times it's being compounded per year. So if we're looking at something like monthly, uh, monthly N would equal 12, um, if we're looking at something like maybe weekly, uh, N would equal 52, that's 52 weeks in a year. Uh, maybe uh, quarterly, uh, about like a football game or a dollar, uh, there are four quarters. Uh, and then you may see something like semi-monthly. Uh, semi-monthly actually means twice per month. And if we do something twice per month, that would be 24 times per year. Uh, and bi-monthly would be something like every other month. So if you were to uh, maybe in a club, it has a meeting every other month. Uh, that would happen six times per year. Uh, and those uh, monthly and quarterly can probably be the most common uh, that we're going to use. Uh, find the account balance after 20 years if $100 is placed in an account. Uh, so 20 years would be the T value. T, $100, would be the principal. 1.2% would be the annual interest rate, and we're compounding this twice a month. Twice a month would be 24 times per year. So the amount in the account is going to be equal to the initial amount, P, times 1 plus the interest rate, which is 1.2%, divided by how many times in it happens per year is 24. And then in the exponent, uh, if we did it 24 times a year uh, for 20 years, how many times did we do that total? Well, that would be 24 times 20. Uh, and now we can actually type that in a calculator exactly like it looks. Um, so we get 100 times parentheses 1 plus uh, the fraction button. Uh, it was 1.2%. Uh, so we can do 1.2%. We're doing it in Desmos. Uh, we do need to do 1.2% of 1. Uh, if you're doing it on your calculator, uh, you can just hit the percent button and it'll work. Uh, we're doing this 24 times a year. In Desmos, in order to multiply something in the exponent, we have to use parentheses. So 24 times 20 has to be in parentheses there. And we see we get about $127.12. And 12 cents that this account would make. How long would we expect the account to double? Well, if we started with 100, we want to know how long it's going to take to get to $200. So 200 would equal 100 times this 1 plus 1.2% uh, divided by 24. I might want to type that in the calculator at this point, um, just so we can see what that is equal to. Uh, 1 plus uh, the 1.2 percent of one. Uh, I need to put a one there um, so it works. I uh, would see that's 1.0005. We do not want to round that number. 1.0005. Um, and that's being raised to the 24 T this time because we don't know what T is. We have no idea what T is. Um, so we can solve this equation. We can divide by 100 on both sides. 200 divided by 100 is 2, so we get 2 equals 1.0005 raised to the 24t. At this point, we can rewrite this as a logarithmic function. Uh, we get log, the base is going to be the 1.0005, and since this is uh, an exponential that we are rewriting it as a log, the 2 and the 24 over t are actually going to switch places. 
Uh, so the two ends up inside the parentheses, and that equals the 24 and C. And then we can divide both sides by 24. Uh, in order to type this in a calculator, uh, most calculators don't have the uh, capability of writing whatever base you want. Uh, Desmos is the same way. Uh, we're going to do log. Uh, we're going to put the two inside the parentheses. Um, and then on the bottom, we're going to do log of the base, uh, which was 1.0005. 1.0005. And then we can hit enter, but then we also want to divide that number by 12. Just go back and look. We have our 24. We got to divide that number by 24. So then we can just hit divide it by 24. It's going to take about 57.8 years uh, for this account to double. The $100 that we invested um, really doesn't matter. It could have been a thousand or a million dollars. Uh, it still would have took 57.8 years for that account to double. Uh, second example, uh, quarterly in would equal four. We're investing $350,000 as our P interest rate. Uh, R is 5%. And we want to know how much money we're going to have after 10 years. Uh, so the amount in the account is equal to $350,000. We're just typing everything into the formula. Uh, one plus 5%. We're doing this four times per year in part A. And we're doing it for 10 years. Uh, so that ends up being 40 times, uh, and we can type that in the calculator exactly like it looks. Uh, we get 350,000 times 1 plus uh, the fraction, but we're going to do 5% of 1 in Desmos. Uh, we're doing this four times per year, and if we're doing it in Desmos, we have to put the exponent in parentheses if we want to multiply. So 4 times 10. So after 10 years, this account will have five hundred seventy-five thousand two hundred sixty-six dollars and eighty-one cents. Uh, so five hundred seventy-five thousand two hundred sixty-six dollars and eighty-one cents. If we're doing this monthly, uh, the only thing that's going to change is how many times we're doing this per year. So now instead of n equaling four, uh, n equals twelve now. So we get one plus five percent divided by twelve, raised to the twelve uh, times ten. And in your calculator, you may be able to just, instead of typing everything over again, you may be able to go just go back in and change the 4 uh, to a 12. But we got to make sure we do that in both places. Uh, and we get dollars $576,453. $576,453.80.32. So we see that if we do it four times per year, if we compound the interest more times per year, uh, our account is going to have more money in it in the same amount of time. Uh, but is there a limit to that? We're going to look at that in just a second. So how long would it take the account to reach 4,000? That's going to be our Y value, or in this case, our the amount. So we want 400,000 uh, to equal 350,000. I'm going to go ahead and type this 1 plus 5% divided by 12 and calculate it as a decimal. I do not want to round that. It is still being compounded monthly, so n equals 12 uh, times t. So the 1 plus 5% divided by 12, uh, I'm going to type that in 1 plus 5% uh, of 1 divided by 12. I don't want to round that. That's 1.00416666. Uh, so 1.00416667 times 12 uh, raised to 12t. Uh, in order to solve this equation, we're going to divide by 350,000 on both sides, divide by 350,000 on both sides, we can cancel zeros if we're dividing. We get 40 over 35, which is 8 over 7. Um, we get 1.00416666. Six, seven. We do not want to round that number because if we round that number, uh, it's going to cause our answer to be off. And if we're talking like thousands, hundred thousand, millions of dollars, rounding that number a little bit uh, is going to cause our answer to be off by a lot. Uh, and it kind of stinks that we have to rewrite that number over and over and over again. Um, but we do not want to round that number. So we rewrite this as a log. Remember the 12t and the 8 over 7 are going to switch. 
So we get log uh, the eight over seven goes inside the parentheses, and this equals twelve t. And then we can divide all of that by twelve to get t by itself. So how long is it going to take this account to reach uh, four hundred thousand uh, dollars? We can type that in the calculator at this point. Um, we're going to start with the log on top. Uh, so log of eight over seven on top. Log of this other number uh, in the denominator. Uh, so log of this one point uh, zero zero four one six 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 seven. Uh, and then we're going to take that entire number and divide it by twelve, and we get about two point six seven two point six eight years uh, is how long it's going to take uh, this account to reach four hundred thousand dollars. Uh, two point six eight years. Uh, so a second ago, we said, like, hey, it's, it's going to be quarterly, monthly. Uh, is there going to be a point in which, like, like, if I increase the amount of times I do it for a year, I'm just going to keep making more money? Or is there going to be a point where, like, we reach a limit and, like, we're not going to make any more money at that point? Uh, and that's where this kind of comes from. We're investing $1, so the $1 would actually be in front one times. Uh, it's at 100%. 100% written as a decimal uh, would actually be 1.00 or just one. So that's the 100% there. Um, it is only one year. So this 10 times one is really just one year. Uh, so we can go through and we can actually look at uh, how much money we're going to have at the end of a year if we invest $1 at 100% interest rate and we compound the interest all of these different times going all the way up to infinity. So if we were to compound the interest one time, we have $2. Uh, if we were to compound the interest two times, we got $2.25. 10 times, we got $2.59. So we see that this number is still increasing. Uh, what about 100? Uh, it increased again to $2.70. What if we compounded the interest a thousand times a year? Uh, it didn't increase that much. It went from $2.70 to $2.72. So it looks like it's an increase just a little bit, but not, not really a whole lot. What if we did it like 10,000 times? It's still, if we round, that's still $2.72. What about like 100,000 times? That's still $2.72. And you notice these decimals, uh, 2.7 and 2.7 stayed the same. But as we got bigger, 2.71, so two decimals were the same. And we got even bigger in the 2.718, so three decimals were the same. So if we tried something like a million, uh, notice that like the first one, two, three, four decimals were the same. If we tried something like 100 million, which is eight zeros, uh, the first one, two, three, four, five decimals are the same. Unfortunately, we can't type infinity in the calculator, uh, but if we could type infinity in the calculator, uh, this number... Uh, would be the number E. And what is the number E? Uh, the number E uh, is right here. It's 2.718281828459. Um, and notice that our number 2.718281 uh, is the same as this 2.718281. If we were to keep going and we were to keep putting bigger and bigger numbers over here, we would keep getting these decimals uh, in the number E. And the more we went out, uh, the more places we went out, the more number uh, of the number E uh, we would be getting accurately. So the number E kind of does come from this idea here. So if we were to, uh, we can't type infinity in the equation, uh, but what if we wanted to compound the interest infinitely many times per year? Well, we can take our equation that we started with earlier today. We can do some algebraic manipulation, which is happening Along the way here, uh, you may or may not understand that. We're going to spend a whole lot of time on that today. And then we arrive at this equation, A equals PE to the RT. So if we do want to compound this uh, interest infinitely many times per year, uh, we're going to use words like continuous compounding. Uh, and then the new formula we're going to use is A equals PE to the RT, where A is the final amount after T years. So the deposit of $5,000 from uncle was made in trust fund that pays 3% interest compounded continuously. So since it says continuously, we're going to use this new formula if we can't type infinite, uh, infinity uh, into our first equation. Uh, so the balance will be given to you 30 years uh, after you graduate from college. 
So the amount of the account is going to be equal to $5,000 E, the interest rate, which is 3%, times 30 years. We're going to leave that money in the account for 30 years. On your calculator, there is an E button. Uh, you need to be able to find that. Uh, if you're using the TI-30, it's going to be second LN button, which is on the left side of the screen. Uh, if you're using Desmos, you can hit the function button. Uh, and it's going to be right next to your log buttons that we saw earlier. So we get E. We do want to multiply something uh, inside that uh, exponent. So we do need to use parentheses. Uh, we can do 3% of 1. Uh, and then we want to multiply that by 30. Um, and we end up with $12,298.02. $12,298.02 in that account. Uh, and this is kind of one of the reasons we want to start investing into retirement uh, at an early age, because what if we only left this money in the account? Uh, maybe we want to retire at 60, um, and we only uh, started investing at 55, which means uh, we've only invested for five years. We've only made $800, $809 at this point uh, in our account. We put the 5000 in, we made an extra $809. Uh, but what if we were to invest this starting at like say 25 until we got to 60, that's 35 years. And we see that we got $14,288, uh, which is pretty good. Uh, typically in a retirement account, you're going to invest more than 5,000. So maybe we invest like 50,000. Um, and if we invest 50,000, uh, but if we only invest 50,000 for five years, we have $58,091 uh, in the account. But if we invest those uh, that fifty thousand for, say, thirty five years, uh, we now have a uh, one hundred forty two thousand eight hundred eighty two dollars uh, in that account, which is a big difference um, than just the five year that we looked at earlier. How many years would it take the account to double? So double five thousand is ten thousand. Uh, that equals 5,000 e to the 3% is 0.03. You can find that in the calculator. We do not know t this time. Uh, we're going to solve this by rewriting it as a logarithm. So we're going to divide by 5,000 first. 10,000 divided by 5,000 is 2. Uh, no coincidence that we got 2 there because we are looking at how many it takes to double. So 2 equals e to the 0.03 t. Uh, we can rewrite this as a log. So the 0.03. T and the two are going to switch. So we get log base E of two inside the parentheses is equal to 0.03 T. Log base E, there is a button on your calculator for that. It's the natural log button, the LN button. Uh, so we don't have to do the change of base formula with the fraction over the fraction earlier. Um, and we can just hit uh, the LN button. Uh, and then we're going to divide by 0.03 on both sides uh, to get T by itself. Uh, so we're going to hit the LN button this time. We're going to put 2 inside the parentheses. And then we're going to divide that number uh, by 0.03 or 3%. And it takes about 23.1 years uh, for this account to double. And again, it doesn't matter if uh, we invested $5,000 or if we invested $5 million. The 23.1 years is going to be the same. Uh, so the more money we can invest at an earlier age, uh, the better we're going to be for uh, retirement.